This is just a look at doing a RAM and hard drive replacement on a Lenovo T480. So first thing you do is just remove the screws. I already did a few things. So it's this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. They have washers on the back, so they'll stay in there. And then usually I'll end up prying up from the back and then kind of going across here and then um, then kind of going around the sides and trying to the front. Sometimes if you just get difficulty, just try a different spot. Um, you're going to want to note how the tabs are, just so you can take a look. The tabs kind of clip on to the case like that, so you kind of want to push those back just a little bit or try and lift the case like a little forward so it snaps over there. Don't push too hard or else you'll break the tabs. The tabs go all the way around. There's another few along the back, along the side here. Let's see if you can get a look at them. Anyway, that's the uh, laptop there. Here's where they keep the RAM. So just like anything else, just pull out the retaining clips and pull it out and put it in diagonally. Oops. Give a little push and push down. And then for the hard drive, I already replaced it, but you can just kind of put your finger in here to pop this up. And then just watch out because of the cable here. Um, you don't need to remove the cable. The cable can stay in there because you just take this piece off. Um, notice even on the ones with M2s, they still have this cable. It just has a different attachment to the M2, like the PCI um, ones. So um, kind of disappointing. I thought it would just have an M2 slot in there. Um, before doing that, I probably should remove the battery, but whatever. And then um, there's just the card there for the Wi-Fi card, and then there's another M2 slot that's more meant for a probably WAN card. Um, if you found an SSD that small, it probably worked there too. But other than that, that's the only uh, slots that you have on this board, and that's it. I mean, put it back together, just snap it back on, and screw the screws in.